we want to do a new menu for winter. You know, we we always try to do a new things on the menu, but um, we always bring caviar. You know, we do caviar thing with caviar and shopping people and champagne. So we'll do a line of caviar and champagne for people to shop. Um, it's usually very um, very elegant. Um, we'll do. Um, Oh my god, what else do we do? I mean, it's easier to sell crazy stuff like we talk about. It's easier to, to sell things that, that in 1990 were impossible to sell, you know. Um, I mean, sweet bread, yeah. We sell a lot more of everything that, because they get to travel maybe a little more to Europe or they're a little more, uh, you know, the, it's globalized, you know, with, uh, with internet, maybe with, with traveling. I think it's, you sell a lot more stuff than, than you used to, for sure. Veal chicks, aubergine, we, we brought the dish. Aubergine was amazing. It's like, and people will get grossed out when you put veal chicks on the menu. Now it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's veal stew, you know. Um, but, um, and it's funny how the price of veal chick kind of triple, quadruple in the last 15 years. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. We still do it once in a while. Um, we'll, we'll do all kinds of stuff, you know. Yesterday I was on the phone trying to find um, lamb tripe and sheep's feet to make an amazing dish called pied paquet. It's like a, it's called package and foot in, in French. It's from Marseille region. And then you roll, uh, you roll the tripe and, and then you bake, uh, you bake the whole thing with tomato and white wine with, uh, with sheep's foot. And it's amazing. This, this dish is absolutely amazing. So we try stuff like that on the menu, and people cannot believe sometimes what we put on the menu. Yeah, it's a, it's a pig trotter. So what the trotter does, it gives a lot of flavor to the broth, and it supports the tripe that's braised. And lamb tripe is a lot more tender than beef tripe. So it's not as strong either, so. Uh, but it's, a, it's an amazing dish. So I'm trying to get the product, and the guy tells me it's gonna take a week. I'm like, in France, it's like, it's like you can buy this stuff, and they, they, they give it for free almost. And you have to really push it, you know, but, uh, but it's fun. People see you. You always keep keep changing and trying the menu. I always put. Uh, I mean, I, you know, it's it's very French. But once in a while, we love to. Should I make something at home? I'm like, God, I should do this at, at, at work. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Maybe tweak it a little bit. So we do sometimes. We we she made a lasagna at home one day. It was so simple. It was so good. So we brought it here. We made the lasagna here, and uh, we add a oxtail into it, and we put it in a in a in a shallow dish, like a cast iron dish. It was, and people were like freaking out. It was, it was crazy. It was like, oh my God, this is Italian food now. So it was like, so we kind of play on this. We make pasta, we make our own pasta. Uh, we just try to give a little French touch to it, you know. Um, always a very good sauce, you know, those, those fall dishes. I love winter because it's all about sauces. And there's not a lot of chefs that make good sauces. Not a lot of people that make sauces that you take the time to make them. Um, so yeah, the, the, the sauce with, uh, with um, all the all the venison and wild hair and pigeons and amazing when you go when you go to those stores it's like it's intense it's pretty good lots of love there yeah yeah <laughs>